they all shouted only one slogan what was the slogan the sword of the lord forgiven generation what is the sword of the lord <laughs> the word of god is the sword of the lord so when you are in the battle what is the voice what is the word that comes of uh, comes out of you not ayyo what happened <laughs> the slogan that should come out is the sword of the lord you must not say what you feel you must not say what you see you must say what is written the word of the lord should come out when you see sickness in your baby don't say oh my god what happened today no the sword of the lord should come out the children of righteous are mighty in the land the sword of the lord should come out when you are in pain when you are in sickness when you are in trouble the sword of the lord has to come out whenever the sword of the lord by the shout where there is shout that's when jericho walls came trumbling where there was shout midianites army got destroyed when there was shout of jehoshaphat all the ites that were coming against they killed themselves from where do you think jehoshaphat got the idea he got it from gideon the story of jehoshaphat happened after gideon so he got the idea from gideon how did gideon get it gideon got it from the divine revelation because he knew the dew of heaven was his let the sword of the lord come you remember gideon started off telling i am the weakest of menessa i am nobody i am nothing i am a sinner i am weak i cannot do it now all of a sudden the sword of the lord came and he told everybody say loudly the sword of the lord and of gideon he said i begin to embrace my calling i am not going to say i am a sinner i am going to say i am the righteousness of god i am not going to say i am the weakest of menessa i am going to say i am the strongest tribe of israel because the lord is with me he changed the word he embraced his call he said god has delivered the enemy into my hands because the lord is with me amen he embraced his call so what happened when he embraced the call they got killed they got destroyed and gideon saw the light shining brighter the enemy fled out of fear and one powerful verse show them judges 7 let's go to 22 we saw the 300 blew the trumpets and the lord set every man's sword against companion the army that was like locust it was a impossible situation right it's a impossible situation do you feel like that sometime it's impossible death that is mounted around me it's impossible sickness in my body it's impossible sickness in my child it is impossible like the midianites around me god is telling let the clay break stop relying on your strength come to end of yourself and say i cannot make it happen it's the best place to be when you say i break the picture and i and you say god i rely on you i raise the victory cup i blow the shofar i blow the trumpet when he did this what happened show the next beautiful verse and they captured two princes of midianites oreb and zeb they killed oreb at the rock of oreb and zeb they killed at the wine press of zeb could you please repeat after me two princes of midianites who were they oreb and zeb oreb and zeb see every scripture is without uh, uh, without a reason it's not put over there every scripture has a purpose nothing is accident by god when you read the stories just don't rush when you're reading your bible don't say today i have to finish one page i have to finish one chapter tuck, 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 and then close the bible over god now my my job is over with you you don't disturb me i don't disturb you <laughs> that's not how we do things he's always with you he loves your company you enjoy him as much as he does so when you're reading don't read in rush it says the two princes of midianites oreb and zeb i have such a beautiful revelation on this what is the meaning of oreb oreb the meaning of the word oreb is raven crow raven and zeb is wolf 
there were two enemies the princes they were the head of medians they were hiding where does raven hide they were hiding in the rock when you go and see when the lord arises his enemy gets scattered and the birds the ravens which are hiding in the rock they get scattered so when the shofar was blown the moment shofar is blown the hidden raven in the rock came to light the wolf zeb the meaning of zeb is wolf the wolf was hiding in the wine press wolf is always behind the wine right wolf wants the wine why he wants to destroy the wine what is that the little foxes destroy the wine god has a great plan for you for your life for your children for your family these little foxes these little wolves are coming and destroying your wine they are destroying your health destroying your finances destroying your family why because you are ignorant of them the only power the enemy has right now is the power of deception because of your ignorance you do not know where he is hiding he is hiding in the rocks the raven is hiding in the rocks and the wolf is hiding in the wine press you do not know the prince of midianite is hiding when the shofar is blown when you take the victory cup the snake that is hidden in your house and you cannot search it and find where it is in my house where it is in my blood where it is in my body doctors are not able to diagnose this doctors are not able to give me a solution the wolf and the raven is hidden in your blood in your body in your dna it has come in there through some ignorance through some inroad of satan he has come in there in the family and you are like i do not know how to fight this midianites and the princes of the midianites the bible says this oreb and zeb who were hiding were brought to light and the people of ephraim came to support the tribe of manessa and all of israel they went and killed them what is the meaning when you take the divine revelation of god god will give you the specific knowledge specific understanding to destroy the oreb that is hiding in your business to destroy the oreb and zeb that is trying to destroy your harvest god will give you the specific revelation to destroy the oreb that is hiding in your blood in your family in your marriage whatever is hiding when you take the communion when you get the revelation of the sun when you have the dew of heaven with that revelation like gideon you will say i have the dew of heaven on my fleece i hear the father i know what father is telling and father guides your footsteps and you go step by step and you exactly encounter the oreb and zeb and you pluck him out from the roots and you cast him into the fire and you f- get victory and you receive complete victory they defeated midianites but the prince of midianites were also defeated amen are you able to relate so anything that is hiding it is destroyed are you able to receive what a powerful truth so receive this dew of heaven so today i'm going to pray over you you can receive and say god i have this dew of heaven i am going to destroy this princess of midianites i am going to destroy this oreb that everything that is hiding you are ignorant you don't know the reason behind your back pain you don't know the reason behind your leg pain you don't know the reason behind what is happening in your blood test you don't know the reason why the finances are not increasing there is some more and zeep that is hidden take the communion this morning receive the divine revelation know the dew of heaven is yours you can be a blessing by partnering with priya abraham ministries to share this good news to partner visit priyaabraham.org/partner This excerpt is brought to you by priyaabraham.org
To get the full message, visit priyaabraham.org.